Hello you guys and thank you so much for clicking on this video. I've got a serious like sweat mustache going on so hopefully you can't see that. It is like 90 degrees out and I'm sweating so much but this was the most beautiful location I could find in my video and it's also the least crowded surprisingly so I thought it would be fun to film my intro here. Um, today I am showing you a lookbook of some different outfits with some high top vans. I recently got myself a pair of these and I love them so much. At first I was really worried because they were a little bit too cool for me but now that I've styled them with some different outfits I like can't take them off. I love them so much. If you enjoyed watching this video please be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this and also I'd love to know in the comments down below if you have any other video suggestions for me to do. And yeah, let's get straight into the video. I hope you have a lovely day, week, weekend, whatever, and I'll see you again soon. So starting off super basic, we just have this simple trouser and tank top combination. And I've been loving styling vans with trousers because it's just like that perfect combination of both very classic and like preppy with the street modern vans type look. And these are some tan trousers. I actually don't know if they're tan, they're you know, I don't know what color this is, like a pale beigey color. Anyways, they're J. Crew that were actually my mom's before I stole them from her, and I've paired them with a black tank top that you might have seen in my thrift haul video, and I also added a black cap with white writing on it just to tie everything together, and also add another casual element to go with the vans and make the whole look very cohesive. So yeah, this is probably one of my favorites for every day, or even something a little bit fancier like a lunch or a dinner, just because of the trousers and the gold details. This exact outfit combination also looks great with like a pair of dad jeans or any kind of jeans that just like um, fall a little bit lower if you get what I mean like they're not cropped at the ankle and I have worn that so many times but I just wanted to include trousers in this video rather than jeans because I think jeans are a little bit more obvious to style with vans and trousers aren't <laughs> so just putting that in. Next, I've got this more sporty look with the Vans and a red tennis skirt that I bought from Lululemon years ago. And as you can see, it's kind of bad lighting here just, the, just with the full sun and harsh shadows, but I really wanted to get some shots in the tennis court because I think this is like such a cute tennis sporty look. I don't know if you would really play tennis in Vans, but whatever, you can do what you want. So with high top Vans, I have found, at least for myself, that you have to be a little bit careful because when you wear shorts that are a little bit longer, like Bermuda style, it can kind of shorten the look of your legs, but this skirt was short enough that it still looked pretty good. So I paired it with a plain white t-shirt just to add again to that like streetwear, casual vibe. And you could tuck the shirt into the skirt or wear a cropped shirt, but I personally like the look of it just out. It feels more casual and just matches the whole vibe with the shoes and everything. And then I added some golden earrings, which are my favorite ever, and I just bought them from Shoppers Drug Mart, and also a vintage scarf around my hair, which I thought tied in all of the different colors in the outfit. This outfit is like a casual summer walk outfit, um, very light. I've paired the Vans with some white linen trousers, or I guess they're not trousers, like drawstring pants, because again, I love that contrast between the very light summery wavy pants and the harder look of the sneakers. And I also added on a simple brown tank top with this, and at first I wasn't too sure how much I loved the brown in combination with the black and white, but now I really love it and I think it looks super simple but also very chic. Like just put together enough that it looks good but like you didn't put too much effort into it if that makes sense. And I also decided to add that same black cap just because it really goes nicely with the shoes and adds to the casual feel of the look. This is another kind of sporty look, and I imagine it would be good for playing basketball or skateboarding or something, and I had originally wanted to film this in our little skate park in town, but not only was I feeling like a little bit of an imposter because I was holding a skateboard and posing with it, but I cannot skate to save my life, but also there were a whole bunch of kids who were there and all these little boys, and they're actually savage, and when I drove by this little 10-year-old, 
totally flipped me off so I decided to just keep going. Anyways, I've got some biker shorts here paired with an oversized sweatshirt that I thrifted and I love it. And I also added some longer puma socks to keep up with the sporty vibe. And last but not least, I just added some silver little circle earrings to add almost a delicate touch to the outfit. And yeah, I really like this look, especially in the last few months, I've been wearing a lot more sporty outfits. And just walking around, you feel so badass. Um, as long as I don't actually have to play any sports, because then the truth would come out and everyone would be able to tell that I haven't touched a basketball or a hockey stick or any other kind of sporting equipment since the ninth grade where the horrors of gym class still haunt me to this day but it looks cute so I'm going to keep on wearing it. So moving on to the last outfit here, um, it's again very casual but it, with the skirt it just has a very elevated look to it so I've paired my vans with this lovely cheetah print slip skirt that I just bought from Aritzia and this massive gray sweatshirt that I stole from my sister. Thank you Maya if you're watching this. And I haven't bought myself a plain gray oversized sweater like this because I always think I will never wear it. But I just need to go out and buy one because I'm always asking her to borrow this and it just adds a super casual element to any like slightly fancier pieces and it's just great to throw on if you're going on like a nighttime walk or something. I'm gonna get one, you should get one, and yes. I just wore a white simple bandeau top underneath if I got super overheated in the sweatshirt because it is very hot as I said before. But I'm just wearing this in the evening so it's perfect if there's a little breeze in the air. And yeah, as I said, love this outfit. I've said that about all of the outfits so far, but I hope you guys just like these looks and maybe got some inspiration from them. And I think it really shows that you can incorporate different pieces like Vans, for example, that you might not normally wear and you can incorporate it into your own style and just add your own twists to it for every outfit. So thank you again so much for watching and I hope you all have a lovely day, night, weekend, whatever, and I'll see you next time.